Hi everyone. Thank you for watching our channel. Uh, today we have something really special. We're going to go to a Japanese hotel run by Japanese people, but only available to Americans and military people in particular. So we got a special invite from a friend that we're going to be able to go inside the hotel and take a look. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Nusana Hotel. College. Japanese wife. Uh, what a welcome sight. Hello. Yeah, Ronnie. <laughs> We're not Did you get the bust of the. Uh... This is Ronnie's floor. Every floor has a different, uh, has a different bust. How many floors are there? Uh, there are seven, I believe. Oh, yeah, three. seven floors. Didn't get to the bottom. I, I studied a little bit before coming here. Three, five, three, five. So, for your protection, check this. Yeah, the room has been cleaned, cleaned and, and sealed. sealed for your so, okay. you just take that off. Yep, just take this off. Now put it on top and pull it out. Open it up. There you go. Wow, it's like a typical American hotel room. It's it's a lot bigger than a Japanese hotel room, that's for sure. It's got a queen size bed in here. There's also a nice size walk-in shower with like an American style shower head. So we're at the New Sauna Hotel and there's a casino right behind me. Actual slot machines, not pachinko, not these fuddy duddy blinking lights. It's an actual slot machine. It's pretty crazy. My dad would love it here. So, a lot of restaurants in Japan right now don't allow you to drink alcohol in the restaurant, but this one actually allows you to do it now that we're inside of an American hotel. You can scan that one. Super nachos. Naked wing. This is the best thing in Tokyo? With the blue Sorry. cheese. You taste it, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of restaurants in this hotel. This one is the uh, breakfast place that we go to in the morning. And uh, there's a big bakery right in the front. Are you going to order? Actually, I don't know. They have a lot. They have uh, pancakes, waffles, egglish muffin, breakfast burritos. I kind of want it all. It's my blueberry pancakes, um, bacon, and sunny side up, uh, but sunny side over. I'm not sure if these pancakes Home are Home fries, enough. fried eggs, French toast, crisp bacon. Crispy. Crispy. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Huge. That looks yummy. So, she's calling. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is that? Oh, that looks amazing. Now you feel like you're back in the U.S., huh? <laughs> These kind of portions you don't normally see in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> no. This is like family size in America. I, mean, I was going to say, that's like at least uh, two Japanese people could eat that meal. <laughs> yeah. the, the cost of getting a hotel room per night in Tokyo is normally pretty high. Here, not so much. What kind of price do you get? Oh. It's under $100 a night. Wow. This hotel has a lot of cool places. Um, there's a bar inside of it. It's a pretty big bar too. You can get anything you want really. They have a lot of different American beers. You also have a lounge area where you can actually pick whatever TV channel you want to watch or whatever sporting event you want to see. There's also a Japanese restaurant in the hotel. Pretty nice menu. There's also a diner in the hotel where you can get hot or cold sandwiches. You have a full-on deli. Um, the menu is pretty nice. And there's also shopping inside the hotel, so you can go to the Navy Exchange. It's not a full Navy Exchange, yeah. but at least you can get snacks. You can get different uh, 
uh, amenities that you would need. There's a lot of alcohol, a lot of wine, a lot of beer. There's also another part of the Navy Exchange where you can get uh, cosmetics, uh, you can go clothes shopping, you can also get luggage and suitcases, you can also do, you know, shop for cards, greeting cards, watches, sunglasses. Also in the hotel there's a Japanese inspired gift shop, so if you're wanting to get some kind of Japanese gift for people back in the United States, this could be a place you can pick up last minute gifts. Also everything is tax free. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Is it big enough? No, I'm a happy guy. Oh, hey, you caught me. I don't know if you heard, but I did a thousand. Over a thousand. Oh, my God, my arms are dead. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Huge. I was expecting a pack of this size, but nice. No, that's yeah. a tortilla. It's an American sized tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, although I think Garrett's was impressive with the whipped cream and the banana on top. Yeah. That's what it's yours. I'm a little bit lost today. No, it's okay. Anything else we can do? Syrup? Syrup. Smells good. Oh, wow. Holy mackerel, I didn't expect that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Kevin. I mean, it's full, but you don't get that feeling that you're, you know, there's way too many people. Yeah. It's wide. It's wider than a normal hotel, right? So it's just, it's real convenient. I mean, it's comfortable. That's what it is. We never did find out. Are these guys going to carry guns? Oh, they do. Yes, oh, they, they do. Should. Goddamn right they have guns. Did you want to ask? Not me. <laughs> Chill out for now. Okay. You should have let me ask them. I should have told you guys when I was into the car. But yeah, don't don't think that paddy wagon is empty because it's not. Yeah. Ten officers in there. There's there's some armed uh, <coughs> peoples in there. Are these sticks for beating people? Like you know how they carry the staff? I can't think of any other reason to have it. <clears throat> I mean, they, they, they do. They don't need it for walking. Right. I mean, they do put it, point, put it out to stop traffic and whatnot. Yeah, I think that's why. But I think it's multi-purpose. Like a martial 